Hello, Ukulele on the ground. Welcome to another Uke Minutes here with our special guest, Mr. Joe Souza. Aloha. And this time on Uke Minutes, he's going to show you how to install a Misi pickup. So we're going to go over the installation of a Misi pickup. Uh, the Misi actually has a onboard battery system and they'll hold its charge for about eight hours. And the charge time is only about a minute or so. So now we'll go ahead and prepare to do the installation. First, I'm gonna slack the strings on the instrument. So from there, now with the string slacks, we can actually remove our bridge pins, pop out the strings, get the strings out of the way momentarily as we do the installation of the pickup. So from here, we're gonna remove the saddle, just set it on the side. Now this is the area where we're gonna route a channel, which will allow us to actually have the ribbon portion of the pickup sit underneath the saddle and be concealed right there by the saddle. So we need to route a channel in here that's approximately 20 thousandths of an inch relief. So we designed this little jig here, which allows us to have a good way of following our router as it goes across the bridge. So now I'm gonna use my micrometer to make sure that our depth is just right. Wanna get rid of any little dust that might give us an inaccurate reading. So this is just at about 23, which is just perfect. What we wouldn't want it to do is to go over 30 thousandth of an inch because that's the actual thickness of our ribbon and the if you went thicker than the ribbon then you wouldn't have good contact from the saddle onto the ribbon itself so from here we'll go ahead and prepare to install the ribbon so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to drill a hole in the bridge that will allow us to have access for the ribbon to come from the inside of the body out to under the saddle so I'll use a 1 8 of an inch brad point drill bit. I'm actually gonna drill right into the bridge to allow us access. And you notice I held my, my uh, drill at a slight angle there because we don't want the ribbon to come up and bend at 90 degrees. We actually wanna soften that transition as it comes through the bridge and then under the saddle. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off any excess burrs that may have been created by the drill and then actually do a little relief cut right where that transition is to make sure that it helps to ease that transition as the ribbon comes over the bridge. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out to drill where our quarter inch end pin will come through the tail block of the instrument. And that will give me a reference point when I go to drill. So I'm gonna do just an initial pilot hole. From there, I'm gonna use a step drill and it will allow me to get good, nice, consistent removal to open the hole up to a half inch diameter, which will help us to accept our end pin. So from here, I'm gonna do some vacuuming of the inside of the instrument, of course, because there's some dust, and also blow off any excess dust that's inside the instrument. Now, of course, the pickup itself is designed not only for the ukulele. In this case, it's also designed for a guitar. So this may be a little long for the ukulele. So what I like to do is actually conceal that a little by just wrapping it and then putting a little zip tie on it. And that will help us to control the length because it's not recommended to actually cut these. You want to keep that length, but just control it a bit. Got to remove this end pin strap. Then remove this 13 millimeter nut. And remove the washers. And these two washers actually go back on. I got a quarter inch dowel here that I modified that allows me to actually gain access into the quarter inch end pin when we go to install. And I also created a little notch here that allows me to get a reference on how deep to make the nut so that it fits on the instrument properly. From here, 
the nut is actually still loose. So now that we know where our final length is, what we'll do in here in the shop is we just put a little dot of cyanoacrylate. And that cyanoacrylate will help us to secure the nut because we don't want that nut to loosen over time. So from here, we're gonna actually install the pickup. So what I like to do is I like to tuck everything in the sound hole. Then we'll use our little handy dandy quarter inch dowel and give us access right inside the instrument there. And from there, we'll go ahead and get it right onto the dowel and use the dowel as an extra finger to make sure that we can guide it right into the hole. Now we'll go ahead and replace our washer and 13 millimeter nut to help secure it onto the back of the instrument. Now we don't really necessarily have to give it the Gorilla Grip tight. We just make it nice and snug so it doesn't damage the instrument or damage any finish on the instrument. Now comes the hard part, believe it or not. We gotta fish that little pickup through this hole. So through the years, we came up with different methods to do that. And we find this the most efficient way, which is just using a little bit of copper wire to allow us to feed it in the cavity of the instrument and retrieve the wire. Once you got the wire, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around the actual pickup. So there's no real soldering going on. We don't wanna solder or have any points on the pickup that might not give us good results. Then I'll go and retrieve the wire and then of course help to feed it through our hole that we already had drilled through our bridge. And now as we're done feeding it through here, I'm actually able to pull it right out actually give myself a little bit of extra there. Remove our wire. Sit it right into the saddle. Drop it here. Bring our saddle back in. So from here, put on my quarter inch end pin strap jack. Prepare to put our strings back on. Of course, Doing our A, E. And now is the magic of charging superconductor battery. It actually plugs right into the quarter inch end pin. Like I said, it takes about a minute to charge, they recommend. So let me unplug it. I'll plug it into our little thin amp house amp that we have here. And that's pretty much the installation of the Misi pickup. Alrighty guys, that was how to install a Misi pickup as done by Connie Leo's finest, Mr. Joe Souza. This has been Ukulele Underground. See you guys next time, Uke Minutes. Aloha. Aloha.